When on the Issue Permits screen, you can move your cursor to the left side of the screen where it says Axle Spacing Report Calculator and click on this link. This will then take you to the Axle Spacing Report Calculator. Once you are on this screen, you will go ahead and enter in your axle spacings in the rectangular boxes in between each axle. The format shows feet hyphen inches, so go ahead and use that format. Once you have entered the spacings, measured center to center between each axle, you will then indicate the number of tires per axle in the drop-down boxes just below. Next, you will enter the tire size for your steer axle and any other two-tire axle you may have, such as for a lift or drop axle. Keep in mind, you cannot enter any tire sizes for the four-tire axles, only the two-tire axles. For a standard tire, such as an 11R 22.5, just enter 11. For a metric tire, such as a 385, you would just enter the 385. In this instance, we'll use an 11. After you have the tires per axle and the tire size is entered, you will check the tiny box for any drop axle you may have. If that drop axle is self-steering, then you will need to check that box above the drop axle. If it is not self-steering, then leave it blank. Once you have done all of that, then you will go ahead and click the Calculate link down below next to the Clear, Save, Print, and Void buttons. The values you have entered exactly match axle spacing report number 68435. So we'll go ahead and put this number up in the axle spacing report number box and then click the Look Up button. This will then calculate a permitted and legal weight for you. Please note the Axle Restriction and Remarks for Permitted Weights box. This information actually tells you what your axle groupings are limited to for permitted weight. Don't be confused by the 22,000 per axle weights that are listed in the rectangular boxes. Those are for figuring the axles as single axles, which if you have either a tandem or a tridem, you would then default to the permitted weights remarks below. You also have the option to click on the show detail link and it will drop down the basic parameters of the configuration along with all the possible axle spacings and their groupings that the calculator has looked at and analyzed for its final permitted and legal weight results. Some people like to be able to see all of the possible results, and this gives an excellent visual for that. Some people want to know exactly how the calculator came up with its end result, and this will show that. And if you have any questions with regards to tire sizes, you can also hover on the question mark uh, function under tire width or steer axle, and it will explain to you uh, more detail on those features.